Yeah, actually, that's an important point, guys. So thir 31st of uh, this month is the last day to use your commissions in the UK. If you're registered in the UK, you have to either buy products and use those commissions or uh, withdraw that money into your bank account because after the financial year is finished, it gets all uh, zero down and then from April we'll start again. So make sure you do that. And also don't forget about the... Um, um, the contest, the free 100 point contest where you can actually be entered into a draw for a brand new car every single month for the next six months. Uh, all you have to do is 300 personal points uh, on one ID and you will get a ticket into the draw. If you do 600 points, you get two tickets, 900 points, three tickets and so on. Uh, and if you do 900 points, you also get um, entered into our uh, grand finale draw for free Mercedes cars at the end of this uh, contest is amazing opportunity but there's also uh, thousands of other prizes to win it as well so it's a great opportunity for you to participate but also make sure that you tell all your uh, team members about this promotion so that they don't miss out as well because sometimes somebody might have 295 points you know and they're just five points away from actually uh, getting their 300 and getting a ticket into the draw so make sure that you uh, tell everybody notify everybody so nobody misses out the amazing opportunity uh, to win these incredible prizes you know wouldn't be bad winning a brand new car you know at the end of the month exactly. uh, it's a, and it's getting a i think it's now even very good ideas for leaders to inform everybody, like it's, oh, I need to, just in case you men, you forgot or something, or you remind, or new person. Maybe someone say, oh, look, just try our products, 300 points. What if you're going to be lucky and they get like a, a car, yeah? Game. Totally, totally. So it's like a good reason to reach out to your team members again, just to have a chat with them and remind them about this incredible opportunity, you know, and and, and tell them that, yeah. you know, what they can win, etc. So awesome. Okay, so I think we're going to get started with our uh, training for today. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and mute uh, everybody. And later on, I'll, I'll open your mics up again so you can ask questions if you have, etc. And today I wanted to share a, a little training. Uh, recently, I've attended a, a, an event that I try to attend every year now. For the last three years, I've attended it. Uh, it's an event uh, called uh, 10x Growth Conference. Uh, it's run by a, um, a businessman called Grant Cardone, uh, a super successful businessman, multi-millionaire. Actually, his real estate portfolio, if, if I'm correct, is like $2.5 billion. So a guy knows a thing or two about growing a business uh, and being a successful businessman. And he runs these amazing conferences every single year where different business type people come in and share ideas. And, and one of the speakers uh, was a guy called Jesse Itzler, and he shared these 10 tips uh, on how to grow uh, a great business, right? So I wanted to share these 10 tips because they resonated a lot with me. So I thought they might resonate with you as well. And you might think uh, which of these points actually apply to you the most and which of these points you would like to uh, work on, uh, what you would like to get better at etc right so tip number one is soul you know we have to put in soul in what we do you know that's what really gives the spice to your business is when you're putting your personality is when you're putting your enthusiasm into what you do right and that's one thing you cannot outsource you know, we can hire people to write uh, emails for us. We can hire people to do social media posts, etc. But nobody can replace your soul. Nobody can replace your enthusiasm, your energy. And that's why being a leader in network marketing is such a vital role for the whole team because your team looks up to you. They, uh, they sort of feed off that energy. They get excited by that energy. So that's why we have to really put in uh, our soul in what we do if we want to get really good results. You know, if you just want to uh, have some a little extra Income, then it doesn't really matter that much. But if you really want to grow a successful business, you really have to believe in it. You have to be passionate about it. And some people even say you have to get obsessed by it, you know, where you, you're living and sleeping and breathing. And that's all what you think about is your business and your industry. Second tip is to have fewer goals. Now, some of you will say, oh, get him in us. That's preposterous, right? What do you mean fewer goals? I thought we have to have as many goals as possible to dream big, etc. And yes, we do. But the idea is to concentrate better into a couple really big goals than to sort of... Uh, have so many different goals that your energy sort of spreads out between them 
and then you don't really achieve anything significant. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's, it's better to have a really, really couple of really big goals that are like what they call umbrella goals. You know, when you hit that one goal, all the other little goals get accomplished anyway, automatically. You know what I mean? Like if you set a goal to hit uh, a really high level in business, when you hit that level, guess what? You get the income and that income takes care of your car and that takes care of the holiday and that takes care of the trip. It, it, you know what I mean? It's sort of one big goal that knocks all the other goals out of the game, right? So have a think, you know, increase your goals, increase your vision, because very often people don't reach um, their, their, their dreams in life not because they set really big goals and miss them. It's because they set small goals and hit them every month. You know, for me, I remember for a very long time, my goal used to be to survive until the end of the month, to survive until I get my paycheck, to make sure that the bills are paid by the end of the month. And if that's your goal, most likely you're going to hit that goal. But guess what? Your life is not going to get very good because of it, right? Because next month, it starts all over again. Survive another month, right? So pay the bills again by the end of the month. But you don't grow like that. You know, your life doesn't get better by that unless you start setting bigger goals where you, you know, I want to make twice as much money, five times as much money. You know, I want to really become successful. Then you start seeing changes in your life, right? So have fewer goals, but bigger goals, right? They're really going to have impact on your life. And that's going to excite you, right? Because if your goals are really small, then it doesn't really excite you. You don't really get passionate about it because it's, ah, it doesn't motivate you that much. But when it's massive, when it's huge, when you know it's going to transform your life, then you jump out of bed in the morning trying to uh, achieve that goal. Uh, step number three or, or tip number three is go where the action is. You know, if you sit at home in front of your TV, you know, on the couch, most likely you're not going to find new customers there. Most likely, you're not going to recruit any new team members there. You know what I mean? You have to go where the action is. So where is your target market? You know, have you actually sat down and identified who is my target market? Like who would be my ideal customer? Who would be my ideal team member? And then once you identify that person, where do they live on social media? Like in what sort of groups would I find this person? What sort of pages would this person follow? Where would they be on social media that I could actually find them and start conversations with them and perhaps recruit them into my team, right? So, you know, look for where it's at. Look for where you can get surrounded by that action, by the, the opportunity, right? Because if you hide from it, then of course, it's not going to come and find you. Tip number four is a routine. A routine for success. I remember uh, the good old Jim Ron used to say, uh, what would you have to do every single day to make your success inevitable? It's a good word, inevitable, right? What would you have to do every single day that your success, the accomplishment of your goals and dreams would become inevitable, guaranteed, right? What sort of routine would you have to do? And why routine is so important? Well, what is routine? Routine is the things that we do every single day, right? And when you do something every single day, guess what it becomes? It becomes a habit. And habits will shape your destiny. Habits will shape your destiny. Now, you have a choice whether to have good habits or bad habits, right? But either way, habits will determine your destiny. And the only way to get rid of a bad habit is to replace it with a Good habit, right? So if you are not getting right now the results you want to get, the chances are that your days are now uh, run by bad habits. So start replacing these bad habits by good habits by setting up a good routine, maybe a morning routine if you're a morning person, maybe an evening routine if you're an evening person, but, but a set of actions, the set of activities that if you did those activities every single day, we, we like to call them income producing activities, if you did those actions every single day, your success would become inevitable, your success would become almost guaranteed. Tip number five is to think in weeks, not in days. To think in weeks, not in days. What does that even mean? Well, um, if you do this business for long enough, I can promise you, you're going to come across some challenges, some difficulties, some bad days, some uh, days when you know you plan everything out and it's going to be an incredible day, you're going to be recruiting, you're going to be selling and all of that, and your kid gets ill and it gets wiped out 
or you're planning to go do all of these meetings and presentations and then your car breaks down and it gets wiped out. And it's so easy if you're thinking in terms of days to get really disappointed where you go, ah, you know, what's the point of even trying? Ah, no point, you know, uh, sod it. You know, I won't even do it anyway then, you know, because it, it got wiped out. But if you think in weeks, let's say you set a goal for this week to contact this many people, to do this many pieces of content on social media, maybe to do this many live broadcasts, maybe to recruit this many people, to sell so many products, etc. And then let's say something happens on Monday and it wipes your Monday out, you still got six days to make up for it. It's rare that your whole week would get wiped out, even though that's also possible, right? But it's a lot rarer. But to, to lose a day, that can happen quite often. But if you think in weeks, then you stop beating yourself up. You stop criticizing yourself and you stop being disappointed because, oh, this one day got ruined. No, because you got another six days to fix it and to still hit your goals for the week. The sixth tip is the free C's. The free C's. Compliment congratulate and console you know most people what well, no most people but a lot of people are pretty negative people and um you know even though all of us we sort of you know look after ourselves first and we think about ourselves first um a lot of people sort of take pleasure in other people's um uh disasters in other people's misfortunes and they don't really get excited when other people uh, are doing well and I, and, and, I, and I would like to challenge you to be a different kind of person, to actually be happy when somebody else is succeeding and to actually compliment them. If you see that somebody's looking nice, if you see that somebody posted a nice picture, if you see that somebody did a great video, compliment them. How much does it cost for you to compliment somebody? Well, exactly zero, right? It doesn't cost you anything. Well, a, a moment of your time, right? Congratulate people. If somebody's winning, if somebody's making more money than you, if somebody's, you know, reaching higher levels than you, if somebody's succeeding in life more than you, congratulate them instead of being bitter, instead of being jealous and, and, and talking behind their back, right? And console people. When somebody had a bad day, when somebody you know had a disappointment, when somebody you know had a setback, take a moment to reach out to that person and console them. And say, hey, look, you know, I, I, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I'm sure it's going to all work out. I'm sure you're going to get back on track. I'm sure it's going to, right? Instead of going, ah, oh, great, great. Ah, my competition is suffering, right? So, you know, be that type of person. And if you will be that type of person consistently, you know, complimenting people, congratulating people, consoling people, people will start rooting for you. People will start being on your side no matter what. It will connect you with other people on a level you can't even imagine, where they will really, really uh, want to spend time with you. They'll want to be part of your business. They'll want to be part of your community because they see your values. They see what type of person you are. Number seven, one job. You actually have just one job, you guys. And that job is to stay healthy. You know, I know it's such a cliche, but that's the, 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 the most expensive thing that we have, our health. You know, most people um, work so hard and sacrifice their health to make the money only to get to a point where they're ready to give all the money back to get the health back. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. Once the health is gone, it's gone. So your main objective is to stay healthy, is to uh, keep that health, right? And, and this business puts you in a very good position to do exactly that. You know, like one leader, uh, I remember said uh, that what money that you make in network marketing helps you to do, it allows you to buy your time back. You see, if you start making two, three, four thousand a month in network marketing and you don't have to go to work anymore, you just bought yourself 40 hours of your time every single week back. You don't have to spend that 40 hours now working somewhere. You can spend that time exercising, cooking healthy food, doing things, building your business. You know what I mean? Right. It, it allows you to then invest in yourself. Also, it allows you to uh, perhaps use food supplements that will make your health better, etc. Right. So you really, really need to um, not neglect your health. Right. Always make sure that your health is the paramount. Right. Because what you put in into your body is what it's going to put out. So you can't have a, a, a strong soul in a weak body. Right. The last thing you want to do is get to a point where you have such big dreams, but your body is too weak to pull them off. 
because it's too sick, because it's too neglected, because it's too beaten up, right? So you always need to look after your health because that's the number one priority for you, right? To stay healthy so you can live as long as possible and enjoy all that wealth, all the success you're going to create. Step number eight or tip number eight is the free minute miracle. Now imagine uh, if you just did this practice for three minutes a day, you sent a text to people or, or a Facebook message, right? Or an Instagram message um, with something positive. Like you saw somebody doing great and you would send them a message. Hey, just wanted to reach out to you. Say how amazing your photos are on Facebook. Or hey, just wanted to reach out to you and let you know that you've got incredible family. Hey, just wanted to tell you that, you know, the pictures from your holiday was absolutely beautiful. Hey, just wanted to congratulate you on your brand new car I saw you bought. You're amazing, right? And imagine if you did that just for three minutes a day, right? So how many messages could your friend in free, send in three minutes? You know, one, two, three, maybe, right? But imagine if you did that consistently every single day, the three minute miracle, just every single day, you reached out to a couple of people every single day just to say something positive. Not to say, hey, uh, congratulations on having a beautiful family. Would you like to join my business? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just to reach out to somebody and say something nice to them, right? Without expecting anything back, without asking for anything. But imagine what sort of person you would become. What sort of people would you start attracting to yourself? You know, everybody wants to spend time with somebody positive, right? With somebody who says nice things right? About other people instead of talking bad behind people's backs, right? Everybody wants to spend time with that type of person, right? Like I recommend you to do reverse rumors. Instead of talking bad behind people's back, start talking good behind people's back, right? Like you meet with somebody and you go, hey, Coral, have you heard of Genevieve? I think she's amazing. I think she's an incredible person. I think she's such a fantastic human being that is absolutely amazing, right? So we're talking behind her back, but we're saying good things about her. How amazing would that be, right? Wouldn't it be better than saying, hey, have you heard of her? Oh, she's such a... Right? What's the point? It doesn't help anybody. It doesn't serve anybody talking negative. You know what I mean? So be that person who's radiating positivity all the time, who's always... Because at the end of the day, long-term, people want to spend time around people who are positive not who are negative all the time, right? You know what I mean? Number nine, great entrepreneurs handle the lows and you will have some lows in your business, right? You will have challenges, you will have obstacles, you will have difficulties, but you have to understand that the obstacle is the way. The obstacle is the way. The challenge is not, it's not like one side is success, the other side is problems. No, 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 no. Problems are the stepping stones towards success, right? So when you go through the challenges, through the difficulties, that's when you get to success, right? So you need to not avoid the problems, but get in front of them and conquer them and solve them and sort them out. If you mess up, if you do something wrong, if you do something, apologize and ask for another chance and go again and go again and go again until you get the result. You know, some of the most successful people in the world are the most uh, resilient, the most committed people who never give up, who never, they just keep going. They keep going no matter what happens, no matter what life throws at them. And finally, tip number 10, take chances on people. Take chances on people. What does it mean? It means believe in people. And sometimes, you know, you'll have to believe in people before they believe in themselves. Sometimes you'll have to count on them before they even count on themselves, you know, and this is this this one tip is very close to my heart, because I know when I first started in network marketing, I was not the ideal candidate, I was not the ideal uh, prospect to be a leader. I was not the, the right person to do the business. But you know, somebody took a chance on me. Somebody believed in me. Somebody invested their time, their money, their belief in me, right? And because of that, I am where I am today because somebody took a chance on me because somebody said, hey, you're going to make it. Hey, one day you're going to be a speaker. Hey, one day you're going to be a great leader, right? And I believe them, right? I believe them. And it actually became true, right? So again, you will need to take chances on people too. You know, some people, they will not look like they're going to be the greatest leader in the world to begin with, right? But if you believe in them, if you show them you believe in them, they can actually grow to become really, really amazing leaders.